You guys had some action. Yeah, we're you know we're we're intrigued with him. You know, yeah. and we'll keep pushing him, see what he does. Mm -hmm. You guys had some explosive team? plays tonight. Um, has that there, been there consistently? Consistently no, during this spring? No, no, or this camp? No, camp, no. no, or spring? No. <laughs> so, so that's that's a step forward. Yeah. And we, you know, we could use a few of those. How big is it going to be for this offense? You have a traditional tailback and bullet that you can throw out at wide. That, you know, that's always good. If yeah. although I'm not I'm not against having a big strong running back either, but. Um, um, you know, we could do that with Albert a little bit. He was mm -hmm. he was flexible out there, and uh, you know, you go back. Uh, Liddell's ball skills are pretty good. So, but it's just it's just good to have some guys that have played back mm -hmm. there. You know, with Ian Mark, that's yeah. that's a positive. How much uh, is Damon working with wide receivers and running backs? Uh, Paul? Yeah, uh, no, no, or Damon Bullock. Bullock, yeah. um, a little bit of each. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit of each. We're mixing them around. Mark's Mark's in the backfield, but. You know, we'll, we'll, uh, there's something we'll try to figure out in the next couple of weeks, you know, how much you can help us out there to supplement. But it gives us a little bit more flexibility. At guard, are, are you set with one of the spots, or is it is it still three guys for, or counting the Buffelli? Buffelli's really, you know, he had a, as good a spring um, as anybody in the, in the spring, mm -hmm. and uh, he's had a good camp. So I, I, I think he'll be hard to beat out. He's really, to me, turned the corner and playing like we all hoped he would. And, um, you know, expect him to be, be back here midweek. Yeah. The other one's still, it's, it's an open book right now. We might rotate a couple guys, we'll see. And uh, really anybody that's not in that first four four guys, is it's open open game. So we'll see what happens. What are the intangibles that Jake brings that can make him a leader on the field and, and have everybody follow him? Um, you know, the biggest thing, uh, he's, he's practiced with boys for the most part. You know, he's had some ups and downs, but he's practiced with boys. and. Um, you know, he's improving, and, and I think all three guys are improving, and that's that's what we were hoping to see, and especially them being young and experienced players, you know, you, you'd think they got more room for improvement, and I think all three have demonstrated that thus far in, in the preseason. So, you know, 17 practices done, and, you know, the thing might turn a little bit here in the next couple of days, but at some point I think we're, we'll probably, you know, we'll talk tomorrow, but I would think somewhere by the end of the week we'll, we'll try to, you know, number them one, two, three. Are you, uh, are you out of camp now? Are you guys out of camp? No, we're still in camp, man. Still in camp. Still in camp. When, when another week. We're gonna. We're, this is back to the 08 schedule where it's game week when we. When yeah, when it's yeah, game, game week is game week okay. in school week. When you mentioned that poise, is that something that maybe wasn't there, or you didn't see as much of last year, like late last season, or is that something that is just? It. You know, we really didn't couldn't evaluate him. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, he's out there and plays in practice, but it's 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 not as stressful. But in mm -hmm. spring and in uh, camp, you can create some situations that mm -hmm. are. You know, uh, puts them in a little bit of an uncomfortable position and taxes them, and so that's that's a good way to you know see where they're at. Mm -hmm. and, and I think you know I think we're seeing improvement. But again, all three guys I think are, are doing some things things better than they were. How much is uh, how much better has Bethard done since his friend? He's gotten better. You know, yeah. he threw some good balls tonight. Right. So, um, you know, like I said, that, that's a good thing about guys that haven't played. They got they got a bigger window to to, to improve. And, um, Whoever starts, I mean, you know, the next guy's one play away from being ready. So that's kind of how we're looking at it. Like, you know, we got to get two guys ready here. Yeah, and the good news is I think we're going to be okay. I think we have three guys that are capable. Mm -hmm. Riley, it seems the, the prototypical football player. How much fun is it to coach a football player? It's a lot of fun. I mean, he just uh, he, he shows up every day with a great attitude. He works extremely hard. He's, he's not a look-at-me guy, but he's uh, you look at him because he draws attention because of what he does so positively. And... Uh, He's a very humble guy, so it's it's really, you know, it's it's a neat story, and he's a great young guy. It's just he's a good student on top of it, you know. So this guy's he's almost too good to be true, but it's those are neat, you know. It's neat. It's fun R to work with those guys. Oh, sorry. Riley McMinn, is it just a camp injury then? Yeah, he's he should be back a couple of days here. Is he kind of falling off too, or is he pretty much in that? He's, second uh, I think he's missed uh, four or five days, but no, he he was doing better. Yeah. So you know, he was a guy we were hoping to see uh, improve and grow and. Yeah, the hard part is you don't get these days back, you know, and when, mm -hmm. uh, especially the younger players, they need every every practice they can get, but, but we'll get them caught up. Jake showed that he can run the ball a little bit, and you guys uh, worked a little bit of the design run with him. Is that something that you're looking to do? In this I, I think all three guys are capable, yeah. You know, I mean, none of them are RG3, you know, so to be uh, clear about that. Uh, but, but, you know, not many guys are. But I think they're capable and they're nifty, and uh, man, it's just a matter of how much of that you want to, Integrate into what you do, but I, I, could, I could see it being a, uh, a part of what we do. At wide receiver, it seems like uh, Shumpert and Cavante have kind of seem to be in the first unit a lot, or most of the time. Are they kind of solidified themselves or distanced themselves? Yeah, I mentioned uh, some other guys, but yeah. uh, both of those guys have, have improved. Uh, 
Devontae is a better player now than in the spring. And, and Shump has had a really good camp. He's really uh, he's really come alive. So that's you know he's a senior and uh, that's great to see. But yeah, he's really come alive. He's he's always worked hard, but he's just having more success right now, and that's good.